So today I'm talking about the Motion Cam app, but not this is not a review of the app itself, but a specific uh, thing about the application. So I've seen over the years, I've seen uh, videos uh, uh, reviewing the Motion Cam app, uh, and it's been said that you cannot return to external hard uh, external drives the same way that you can on the on on the uh, Apple iPhone 15 uh, Pro and Pro Max. But I've actually been using the Motion Cam Pro app for a long time, and I've always been able to record to an external drive. Maybe uh, it's a limitation of your phone. I, I, I've had a phone in the past that I believe is a TCL phone that that didn't allow me to record to an external drive. Uh, it wasn't showing up for me to even pick it for uh, to be uh, for 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 the recordings to be um, recorded to that drive. But I know for a fact on the Pixel Six Pro, Pixel Seven Pro, and uh, this old phone right here that I have, the Poco F Two Pro from uh, twenty twenty, and I also have the Galaxy S twenty four Ultra that I've also been using the Motion Cam Pro app, and I've been and I'm able to record to external hard drives using these two devices that I'm going to demonstrate it on right here. Uh, the the Galaxy S twenty four Ultra is running the new updated release that basically changes up the UI and, and allows you to record in basically Apple ProRes if you want to and uh, the Poco F2 Pro is running an old version that I haven't updated on here as yet so we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to show you exactly how you can record to external drives the way you do it on the Apple iPhone 15 like I said I've been doing it for uh, for a couple of years already regarding to external drives um, with with the motion cam uh, pro app and also with the I believe what, what is the name of that app uh, 24 FPS or something like that. I've come Remember the exact name for that uh, uh, app, but uh, it'll be on the screen. But yes, I've been using those um, apps to record external to directly to an external drive. So without further ado, let me show you guys how to how you can do that. I I assume that it was common knowledge. That's why I've never made a video about that in the past. I thought everyone knew how to um, set it up so that way. You can use our external hard drive to record uh, directly to. So okay everyone, so I have my I have both my smartphones here, the Poco F2 Pro and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I also have two SSD drives right here. This one is a one terabyte right here, and this one is a two terabyte. So I'm gonna show you the app, the the motion cam app on both of these devices, so you can see the difference with the app version. So let's go to the inform app information here. And then I'll do it on this one. I had it up already. App info. So on the Poco F2 Pro, you can see it. I don't. You can see it right there. It says it's a version 2.0.2 Pro. So this is the old version of the app. And then here I scroll up to the down to the bottom, and you see it right there. This is the current version 3.0.5. 1 dash pro so yeah so you can see there's a difference in the version so I'm gonna go ahead and open them both so you can see the difference between um, that that you see so you can see that you uh, can record in uh, in both of the old the, in both of these um, a to, to an external drive so like I said I've been recording uh, using uh, two external hard drives using Motion Cam Pro for a long time. Ever since I've been using Motion Cam Pro uh, for a while now, I'll say okay, I'll say about maybe two years now. Uh, and since the, since since I first got introduced to Motion Cam Pro, I've been able to record to an external drive. So you can see the difference in the UI. That um, they, it looks different uh, on the Galaxy S24 Ultra than it does on the Poco F2 Pro. Um, here we don't have the direct log recording, so you can record in ProRes or, or, or as anything like that. On this one, we do. We have direct recording right here. 
So let me go ahead on this one and reset it because uh, this one actually has a reset option. So to find where you want to save your video, you, your videos, you just go to videos um, and we, we change, change the resolution and you scroll down to the bottom where it says um, set a, a recording path. Let me reset this here. So now it's going to be, it, uh, it reset it to the default location. So let me go ahead and show you uh, uh, in, on, on, on the old version of the app on the Poker F2 Pro. So you go to settings, right where it says, um, so here it says raw video storage folder. I can clear that. So now I can select where I want that video to show up. So by default, as you can see, it's only giving me that option to only um, to only choose the internal storage. Same thing with here, if I go on the video, on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, I uh, don't have any option if I try to set it, I'm only left with the, um, the option to select uh, 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 the internal storage. So let me go ahead and connect this drive to the Poco F2 Pro. It's going to come up with my um, file, file manager plus, which is having a loading error uh, for some reason. But here it is. It's actually there. The drive is actually there right now. So now if I go back over, exit out. Now you see I have this option up here. The three ticks is now there, which wasn't there before. If I go click on that, now I have the option of choosing the uh, in, uh, the SSD instead of the Poco F2 Pro storage. So I click on that. Then I want to use, I, I gotta wait a couple of seconds, uh, and then it, it's up here. So I already have a folder created on here already, but you can create a new one if you're using a drive with it for the first time. And I created a folder called uh, Motion Cam Pro. So I'm gonna click on that folder. And then I also have a folder called Render right in, inside of there. So I'm gonna use this, press Use Folder, Allow. So in the old version, when you do it, it usually, it usually closes the app. When you reopen the app now, and you go back to Settings, and now I'm back in Settings, and then I can go ahead now and select Raw Storage, and it's already there. I just go ahead and tap it again, Allow, and there it is. I'm using I'm, I'm, I'm using that as an, I'm sorry, close it by accident, but I'm using that to record. So now I'm going to go ahead and press record so you guys can see. So I'm recording just a little bit. Uh, autofocus is bad right now. So there we go. So I'm recording this just a little bit. As you can see, the light is flashing on this drive because it is recording directly onto the external hard drive. Well, not our drive, but the the SSD. So right directly onto the SSD, and it's yeah, it's recording right now. So uh, let me stop that. Again, I stop it. So this drive is a bit slower. So it is going to say it's saving, and it's going to take a little bit. Um, so it's still it's still saving the file to the to to, to the SSD. Now let's go back to the. The Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let me get that back on. Okay, so that's back on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my SSD right into here. And it's connected. Uh, I don't want to use that. So now the option come up with the, the three ticks over here, the three lines where I can click on that and now I can choose the media. Then I already have two folders here, two Motion Cam Pro folders. Now there's a reason for this because um, I was using Motion Cam Pro, the, old, well, the older version with my uh, Google, uh, Google Pixel 7 Pro before, uh, before I got the... Uh, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and for some reason between that phone and this phone, it, um, it wouldn't see the files recorded or the folder that I created on the on the Pixel 7 Pro. It, it that fo those folders wouldn't be seen on the Poco F2 Pro. So and it, it wouldn't show up. So I had to create another folder on this drive. Um, so it, so one will be seen. Uh, so it, it, so I can save to it, it so I can save the files on onto it. So that's that's the reason why I have two Motion Cam Pro folders. So I'm gonna pick this one right here, 
And as you can see, this, this folder is empty. I'm going to choose use this folder. It's going to ask me to allow it, and then there we go. Now it says it, it says it right here, and it's a Motion Cam Pro folder, and it is set. So even if I go back and I switch to log, direct log, and I go back to video, you can see the location is the same. So everything will be stored in that folder that that I said that I set it to. So now if I press record, um, so I have it on ProRes 10 bit LT uh, and and Mac and MC MC raw log. So if I press record, that is going to record directly to the to the drive. But this drive doesn't have any lights in it, so. You're not going to see that it's recording directly to that drive, but it's recording to that drive and this one already saved a while ago. This is it been stopped saying it's saving, but yes, I'm actually recording. I never press stop. It's, it's, it's see this drive is faster than this drive. So everything is automatically there already. So now if I um, go to manage, uh, not manage, but if I, I close out, the, I, I get out of the app and I go into my file manager pro, I go to the media drive and I go to motion cam. You see it's right there. The video I just took, it's already on this external drive. I can then press play. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna play it. Uh, because it's a uh, let me see is there a way for me to pick a different um, cause, because the default player does not play audio there it goes and then I pick the MX player and the video the, to, the, to the drive but this drive doesn't have any lights in it so you're not going to see that it's recording directly to that drive but it's recording to that drive and this one already saved a while ago it's, it's, it's been stopped saying it's saving but yes I'm actually recording. I never pressed stop. So as you can see, I I, I actually um, was able to record directly to that external drive. So yes, it kind of boggled my mind when everyone was saying that, uh, well, not everyone, but some creators that I've seen who review the Motion Cam app is saying that you don't have the ability to actually record to an external drive the way you can on the on the iPhone 15 uh, Pro and Pro Max, I believe. So. Yes, you. I, I was doing this for 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 over a year, maybe two years already, on the old version. So and I, so even the current version still allows you to to record to an external drive. Now there is one thing that I noticed with the new versions, um, or I guess it's a limitation of the smartphone on the Poco F2 Pro. I can connect a Bluetooth micro. Uh, I could connect the microphone I'm using right now, which is the DJI Mic 2, uh, over Bluetooth, the one that comes with the um, the Osmo Pocket uh, 3, and I can use it with this phone, and it will record the audio uh, um, from the microphone, but on, for some reason, on these newer phones, like the Pixel 7 Pro, and even the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it doesn't seem to be recording audio from from it. And I try all types of uh, audio interface. I try audio interface. I even plugged in a USB microphone. It records it on this phone, but not on this phone. Or did it work with the Galaxy S7 Pro either? So I don't know. I guess that maybe the phone is limiting that, or does I don't know what's going on. But I'm not able to use external audio sources. Um, uh, uh, with these phone now this one does have a, a headphone jack which also works as a mic jack but I've, I've used blue I've used Bluetooth microphones USB microphones and it records the audio in motion cam pro uh, from those sources but for, again for, from the Galaxy s24 ultra and also the pixel 7 pro I seem to have had issues with audio so uh, I'm glad that this microphone actually has internal recording that way I it doesn't matter I can I still have uh, I still have my audio, um, as, uh, so I just I just I just think of the audios in post because the quality coming from the from from the DJI Mic 2 is better from, than the internal microphones on the smartphones. Yeah, guys. So there you have it. You there's how that's, that is how you can record to an external SSD uh, using Motion Cam Pro. So let, let, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please don't forget to share this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, peace out.